Once you have your CAD data on the 3D Experience platform, there are three fundamental ways for accessing your data again in SOLIDWORKS. The first way is through the web browser. The second way is through the task pane add-in for 3D Experience. And the third way is through a simple file open in SOLIDWORKS. First, you'll want to open SOLIDWORKS. You can open SOLIDWORKS directly from the platform using the Design with SOLIDWORKS app, or if you're a 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS user, SOLIDWORKS Connected. Once SOLIDWORKS is launched, there are two easy ways to bring files from the 3D Experience platform into the SOLIDWORKS work environment. The first way is to right-click on your CAD file, select Open With, and Design with SOLIDWORKS, or SOLIDWORKS Connected. The option to open the assembly in Resolved, Lightweight, or Large Design Review comes up. Pick whichever one makes sense to you. The second method is simply to drag and drop your SOLIDWORKS model from the browser window into your SOLIDWORKS window. To open files directly from the 3D Experience add-in on the task pane, we'll take advantage of the fact that the add-in includes all of the platform tools for file management. At the top left of the add-in window is the compass that we're used to seeing on the web platform. Click the compass, and we'll see all of the apps that we saw online, which means we can open the bookmark editor, navigate to the file that we want to open, and drag and drop into the workspace, just like we did from the web browser. Alternatively, we have the full searching capability built into the add-in that we have on the web portal. So if we don't want to use the bookmark editor, we can simply search for our file. We also have the option to open files directly from a file open in SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS 2023, if we go to the open dialog and look in the bottom left corner, we have the option to open from 3D Experience. Select this option. This presents us with a window containing 3D Search, which includes all those searching capabilities we have on the online platform, including 6W tags for filtering down the results, and with a bookmark editor to search the way that we have before. Once you've made changes to your CAD file set, you can hit the drop down next to the save icon and choose save to 3D experience, or go back to your 3D experience add-in, select the top level assembly, with a right click, select save. Or if you need to bump up the revision, save with options. and select the new revision box. 